Good day, everyone, and welcome to the show where I report on the latest in gaming news. And if you end up enjoying today's video, please remember to smack that like button real good, and you could win this key. Yes, this is the key to success, and you could win it by smacking that like button. Not really, but um, let's get into the gaming news with our first news report on today's show. And it's that over the last few days, there has been a lot of talk regarding the Xbox Live servers, specifically for the Xbox 360, and specifically them actually getting shut off. Off. A lot of games over the past year or two have actually had their servers shut off on Xbox Live. Now these are specifically just very, very old games that pretty much no one plays online anymore and that's done by the publisher's request to no longer support that game online because they just don't have the demand anymore. In this case, what we're talking about is that the actual Xbox Live service, so something that you would pay for, like the Xbox Live Gold subscription that you have, they would potentially be shut off. And this all came up because of a 2013 statement from Microsoft. Now, now back in 2013, it was Microsoft's marketing executive, Yusuf Mehdi, who talked about this. He said that they would support the incredibly profitable Xbox 360 for a further three years at least. That would basically put them into the window of 2016, which is why we're talking about it now. The most interesting part here is that someone actually was really concerned and went to Twitter and asked Phil Spencer about this statement and what they're going to do about this if the Xbox Live servers will still be going out or will they get closed down, what's going to happen, and basically Phil Spencer told us it's not true, they're going to stay online, so yeah, it's all good news there. Now personally, I'm very happy with this news, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are, especially the ones that haven't transitioned over to the newer generation of consoles or switched to PC. Now the only thing that worries me is his statement was very simple. They're not really disclosing if 2017 they might start doing this, because, well, you know, not many people are going to really be playing anymore on that side. But yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what Microsoft does, but until then, we'll just keep on sitting and waiting for Phil Spencer to tell us more stuff. But yeah, now let's get to the next game news report on today's show. And it's that if you haven't been paying attention, The Division has had a lot of information, gameplay, all that good stuff released over the last couple of days or so. And the big news here is that the closed beta for The Division will begin on January 28th for the Xbox. And then it'll begin on the 29th of January for the PC and the PlayStation 4. Now all three systems will have the beta run all the way through to January 31, which gives you a few days of playing for the Xbox One and only a couple of days for the PC and PS4. Yes, that is right. The Xbox One does get an exclusive 24-hour early access period. If you want to know more about it and everything, I have linked it down below. But yeah, um, that's that. Now let's get to our final gaming news report on today's show. And it's regarding Ark Survival Evolved on the Xbox One. Now this game is available on the PC, but this Xbox One version is kind of like a test drive for the game on console. And basically this new update, which we know as a version 231.9, it includes quite a lot of awesome new stuff. You get dino rebalancing, the addition of primitive cage and stone fireplace items. It also fixes very important stuff like memory leaks that typically caused crashes in the game because of volcano areas that you may come across. And on top of all the little bug fixes here and there that they're doing for the game, the big news here is that they've additionally added 100 new servers to the game. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the gaming news today. Now, Gorilla Man, please hand me that question. Thanks, little man. Okay, guys, the question is, what upcoming game in 2016 do you want to have a beta right now, and why? So, put your answer in the comment section down below, and you can end up on the next show. But if you enjoyed today's video, please remember to smack that like button, because I am Champ Chong, my accent's Australian. Here are the answer to the man's previous questions.